guys and welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. If you're meeting for the first time, welcome. And for those of you that are old friends and family, welcome back. As you guys can see, we have a pick a card reading that we haven't done in so long. It feels like it's been forever. As you guys know, there's been a lot of changes going on in my life, personal life, but all good things. And we are just pacing ourselves as all of us are. <laughs> under these current astrological transits. Before we dive into today's reading and pick a card message, I really do want to give a shout out to one of my best friends, John, who sent me this perfect witchy mug. <laughs> it says witches brew that I am absolutely obsessed with. And he also knows me so well. He sent me leaves and he put them in a plastic bag. And I've just been huffing the plastic bag. I don't know if that's the right way to say it. But oh my God, it is. it smells like fall. He lives in the Northeast and I am in the Southeast. And we do not have the crispness of fall that he is enjoying right now. So I'm so, so appreciative of him sending nature. I knew that it wasn't gonna last forever. And with that being said, I knew I wanted to share these leaves with you guys for the time being. And if you are in the Northeast and you're watching the leaves change right now, you are so blessed. <laughs> you are so blessed and I hope that you're able to get out and enjoy it. Having said that, today's message, we're going to be focusing on the messages that we need to hear from our ancestors, not what we need to hear, but what the ancestors are saying. This message is very, very specific. It's not like I pulled it out of the clouds. I was shuffling and pulling for Bahati Love Notes, which is something similar to a Bahati Life Patreon where I shuffle and pull for our small collective there and my hearing on the right side of my ear which sounds troublesome but it's it's really not it went out that's not new whenever that happens that's our angels our guides our ancestors saying I have a message and I need you to listen I shuffled and pulled for them, but I felt like we could go a little deeper with a pick a card reading, and that's exactly what we're going to do, do today. So with that being said, there's three card piles to choose from. This is pile number one, pile number two, message number three. Go ahead and take your time with vibing with these messages I or vibing with the shells. You can pick more than one if you would like. It's totally up to you. Listen to your intuition, and I do have bones that I will be shuffling and pulling from as as well. In the meantime, if you're brand new, go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel. For those of you guys that have been subscribed, make sure that you're still subscribed. YouTube is going through it. It's been confirmed. And um, if you want to dive deeper into these messages, Bahati Love Notes will be linked down below and you'll get access to the latest message as well as all of the, re all of the recent latest messages that I've been posting. Um, especially the one that inspired today's reading, if you need to dive a little deeper into that. Okay, so I'll meet you at your time timestamps. Talk to you okay, soon. Okay, lovey, if you chose this message, this pile, this is your this is your reading. This is what your ancestor has been trying to tell you. It is a specific ancestor for sure. I'm gonna shuffle, 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 and see what shows up. I'm shuffling off camera. The number that's coming through is five for you, five, five, five. Okay. You do have some Oracle cards here pulled on the left and I will share those with you as soon as I'm done with the actual channeling of your reading, okay? So the first cards to jump out, we have the Eight of Pentacles reversed, Five of Cups reversed, the Temperance upright, Ten of Cups upright, and the Tower card reversed. Let me sit with this and see who this is. Okay, first of all, I'm getting a very masculine um, ancestor, but I don't see this as a masculine as a male. This could be a, f a f someone who identifies as female, but they are very masculine presenting or they're someone who like carries the weight of the family. I see them, um, this is someone who has a, the way that they're presenting, they have like a sack or 
It's wow. They have a sack over their shoulder. This sack is filled with it's it's in- interesting bones, but it's they're the storytellers. This is someone who's a storyteller. They come across really serious or almost sarcastic, but to their heart, to their core, they're actually very sweet and funny. Very, very funny. There's um, the energy that they bring. They think about doing things the right way. No shortcuts. Even as I'm talking, I feel everything that they say is short, chopped. They don't say a whole lot. When they say what they need to say, people listen because they're not someone who talks and and blows wind is what they're saying. Like they're not someone who is like blowing wind. That's a very specific. They they said that they um they identify with reasoning. They think more through the lens of reasoning and logic, but that don't let that make you think that they're not emotional or intuitive or in tune. If in this in the realms of spirituality or spiritualness, they're not someone who practices loudly. Meaning that they don't necessarily need to go to the church. That their their spirituality is very strong to them, but they're not necessarily in the church. They believe. They uh, they're saying like demonstrate it. Like they don't need to demonstrate their faith. If this is not an older person, this is a younger person that has a very old soul. They want to talk about um, the like a message, the message that they want to bring to you. Wow, <laughs> wow. So don't be offended, but this has they're talking about like you using your common sense and rational reasoning. They see you respectfully as someone who is over emotional. And um, respectfully, your emotions can get the best of you, but you have their blood. If I sound like I'm talking choppy, it's because that's how they present, like how they communicate. They, you have, they're, they're saying like, you have our, you have my blood. And it doesn't mean that we turn, I'm seeing them kind of dim the light on emotions. They're not saying that you turn down your emotions or close them out or hide them their your emotions have a they 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 serve a purpose but they don't they shouldn't be taking over or clouding your judgment they want you to lean more into your common sense and your reasoning and when you if you're allowing your emotions to take center stage it's it's making you rock like it's like a ship on the ocean you rock too much and it steals your power There's, they really want you to close the door, close the, like, close, close the window, close the door on things that make your emotions rock too much. This could be drinking. This could be people, friends, connections that make, that always pull you into emotional place. This could be an imbalance in your, in your diet, your lifestyle. Someone here, it's interesting, this, the symbolism of the temperance card in the center of this reading and this masculine energy is is saying the importance of like going for walks and disconnecting getting off of like not i keep hearing this message about like not letting things in and i'm also getting <clears throat> a vision of uh noah's ark so there's a, a nod toward christianity here and noah's ark and how things were done in twos partnership was done in twos there's a there's the, the symbolism between the partnership that your ancestor wants to talk about is how there's a need to kind of like find someone or partner up with someone who is easy, like it equally equally yoked and we got to put a pin in that equally yoked and rational thinking that way you don't have a turbulent life that you don't have a turb- turbulent emotional life they're trying to protect you from e- emotionally turbulent people and energy and things because it's really not good for you you may be someone who is very very sensitive in fact you're going to this ancestor wants to teach you and guide you into who they kind of who they are, not kind of are, who they are, what their strengths are, what their what helps 
what helped them and what helped them was having common sense and good rational thinking and they want to and they want to give that to you i heard the word employ like they 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 are they're like wanting to pour that into you they're wanting to give that to you if you're open if you're open it's going to help you in every single area of your life I want to talk to you a little bit about health is what I'm hearing them say that your emotions and your hormones if they're off balance it can impact the entirety of your body and actually make you sick they also want you to be really careful with an overindulgence in anything sugar sweets syrups salts oils fats taking your time eating well taking care of your physical body I heard um, I told you so. So this is not a new message. They've said this to you a, multi a multitude of times or in different ways. Maybe not necessarily presenting as this ancestor, but this ancestor has been speaking to you directly when it comes to too much in your body. Someone is here is I heard the word gout or um, like swelling, like swelling of in the in the face, the legs, the hands. Um, you're like making sure that you're also endocrine system. That's really specific. Um, sometimes my hand wants to channel too. Um, kidneys, anything in like doubles, we want to make sure that they're able to filter, like cleanse and filter. This doesn't necessarily need to be a problem right now, but if you are constantly overproducing um, like like stress and the body through the emotions, then it taxes the body over time. So you may not necessarily see this right now, but someone, I heard figment of your imagination. So some of you guys might actually not be feeling well or you might be having random symptoms. Um, and it's, it's actually not a figment of your imagination. It's a sign of oh, an, an overstressing of, look into the endocrine system. What is that? I'm hearing the words regulate, like regulate. Endocrine. Look at look that up. If you pulled if you pulled this pile, I definitely want you to look into the endocrine system and how it can be stressed out. Something about stressing it out. The message here that they want to give to you, just moving forward, is um, common sense. <laughs> I love this person. <laughs> Um, I love their energy so much. This is someone that like at a family get together. This is someone that is like cracking shells, like cracking peanuts and just sitting not by themselves, but sitting quietly, kind of taking it all in or it seems like they're in their own world. They kind of chuckle a little here and there, but for the most part, they're they're just like solid, like they're solid also, um, this is the, this is so random, but this is someone who's like at a barbecue says like you they'll, they'll be quiet the entire party, but they'll be the ones to tell you like you can't trust everybody's cooking. <laughs> and it's like true. <laughs> like it's so true, but like that's all that they said the entire time. It's there's no lies, no lies told. Facts. They're not known for being long-winded or the center of the party, like the center, like they're not loud, but when they speak up, they say things quietly or to like under their breath. And what they say is, is common sense. Like it's, it would be silly not to listen. And it's like the simplest thing, but it sticks with you for, for a minute. And by a minute, I mean your entire life. The message, sorry, um, I, I just was like kind of getting lost sitting with this person at the table, uh, this ancestor. Um, I really enjoy their energy like a lot. This is, these are, this is my type of person. They're the person, you need to ask this person, you need to ask this ancestor. It's not that they won't offer the advice to you because they are working with you right now but you need to really ask them 
you need to ask them and you need to be patient. You need to ask them for their advice, their wisdom, and for, for them to give you common sense and balance. I'm also hearing strategies, strategic. This person surprisingly has a lot of good, like, has a lot of excellent approach to problems and success and relationships. It's common sense, so it's not like you're going to get this wishful fantasy, fantasy like, woo-woo approach, but it will get you to where you need to go. You're, oh my God, this, you need to know that you might be expecting in life right now, like this big elaborate fireworks show, and that's how you're going to find success. And this ancestor is here to show you that this season in your life, they're here, they're called to help you, they're called to help you through it. Not that you may be struggling, but you need to learn how to reason, how to say no, how to be strict, how to be quiet. For some of you guys, you may be coming out of, this person is very hardworking, but they don't overwork themselves. And you are needing to learn that how to be a hard worker, a dedicated worker, but not overwork yourself, not deplete yourself. And how not like not having too much is just enough. This per this ancestor need the message that needs to come here, like come to you is about common sense. And a simple, rational, practical, grounded approach to life is the best healthy way you don't have to stay in that space forever if you decide to topple into any extreme later on in life then fine so be it but this ancestor is teaching you a different way and you're going to need to the instructions are fully that you ask them you ask them for their insight their guidance and you be patient and you don't expect it to come through in this loud elaborate way like this crazy way any specific there's a, a need to simplify your life aggressively right now like really simplify your life cleaning out your life protecting protecting your heart protecting your gut protecting your inner organs because there's too much coming in at you this could be overstimulation of food stress people phones it's like things that you are consuming it's too much it's constantly ringing in your ear like it's a constant activation of your senses like your stress like you're constantly firing 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 this ancestor is asking you to be open being open to their 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 wisdom that's going to come through the silent moments the quiet but it's so loud in your life some of you guys feel like you're out of control and that's not true the, your ancestor specifically is saying that you've gotten complacent in the chaos like you've accepted it and because you've accepted it you continue to find new ways to allow all you know allow it to come in they're also talking about your priority shifting something or some someone that was really important to you and was toxic it could have been making money it could have been building a brand building a business that is passing and something more of a priority is coming into focus now that is no longer your route and you're going to be having a solid foundation elsewhere this is not something to strike you or bring fear. It's something to open you up to what is really, truly important. And you have to know that not everything is meant to, for you to say yes to. There's a lot of things that you need to have boundaries with. Discernment. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> That's so crazy, the Buckeyes here. <laughs> That's something. It's like symbolic. I have to share, share that with my partner. Okay, honeys. So let me grab your oracle. If you hear any coughing in the background, it's little Franklin boy boy. 
Okay, I'm gonna read this card to you guys last. All the cards that I'm working with are linked in my bio for real this time. <laughs> Cause I'll have like a generic, I'll have like a generic, um, he's so sassy. Franklin, come here stink. Sorry if I'm like yelling in your ear. Um, I'll have like a, a generic list of the tarot cards, but like for real this time I, I will link all of them. The first card we have is Turkey Spirit, Give with Gratitude and Grace, which is so funny because I actually saw this ancestor sitting at like a dinner table. I remember that whole thing about like you can't trust everybody's food. <laughs> That's so specific. Yo, I love this person. <laughs> It's so true. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we have the porcupine spirit. Time for a beginner mind. But look how guarded and protected this person is. This is what they're trying to show you right now. That like not everything. Also, there's this like need to like sacrifice here. Like something, something has to give. Like you not being open to everything. You not saying yes to everything. You not. Some of you guys feel, and this is what this ancestor is going to teach you, is you feel like every opportunity you should say yes to you may be at the top of your game right now or building success and wealth for yourself even though the eight of pentacles is here reversed um you may be growing 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 but you're not grounded 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 it's interesting too like i have the tarot cards here but i'm not even reading off of them i'm just channeling with this message and i'm okay with that but I, I do get this strong sense of like self, like protecting, like going to your soft, vulnerable places and protecting that. Spirit of gratitude. There's a lot of giving here. Look, you have give with gratitude and grace, and then we have a spirit of gratitude. This ancestor is going to teach you, especially when it came to your past priorities, no judgment. We are all walking this road alone, right? And we all have our different paths. Um, this ancestor is teaching you what you are really going to appreciate. And I feel like if you're working on the wrong things or if you're working outside of your purpose, no matter how successful you are, no matter how great the mountaintop you've climbed, it will never feel like it's enough. This, when I see the spirit of gratitude, it's not that they're saying that you need to be more grateful. It's showing you that this ancestor is going to teach you what you were actually going to be <clears throat> authentic and genuinely appreciative of travel and true offering. This is this is another card here about releasing and sacrifice. Very very interesting. When it comes to travel, I do think that this could be a symbol obviously of trips and travel vacations moving it but i also see this as the importance of getting a, like getting away and starting over or sacrifice and going the distance when it comes to that some of you guys really need to take a step away which is going to be so hard for you because you feel so excessively committed to whatever is in front of you right now but i think a lot of your life is meant to change especially with the intervention of this ancestor who's coming in and going to reshape your priorities and the last card we have here initiation yep it's a new life a new beginning a new awareness i'm gonna read to you what this card represents the smaller portion of it i'm not going to read to you the whole portion and then we're going to move on to the next message it says you are in an initiation ask yourself what the ancestors are initiating you into decide what you will release mm -hmm. identify what knowledge skills and wisdom you will need to cultivate in order to take them with you across the threshold that right there so that's your message, my loves. If you wanted to go a little deeper with um, the weekly readings and intuitive channelings, Bahati Love Notes is there for you. I'm going to link that down below. It's kind of like something similar to Patreon, although it's me <laughs> and not this outside source. Pretty consistent. 
And the tarot cards that I have been shuffling with will be linked down below as well, but not my bones. That, that's a collection that I've been cultivating myself. Okay? So thank you guys so much. Please give this video a thumbs up, share, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. All right, my loves. If you chose the second message, this is your reading. Don't mind my sage. Dragon's Blood Burning. <clears throat> it is from my shop, which is currently closed as I am now on maternity leave. All right, let's go ahead and see. All of the cards that I am using will be linked in my description box for real, <laughs> for real this time. And I will be shuffling from the bones, okay? Let's go ahead and see. Oh, these cards were in their dump out. Oh, okay. Here we go, right? Buckle up. <clears throat> Ooh. This person, this ancestor has a lot of energy. Mm, I want to say the word irritable, but it's not that they're irritable. They just are like such a stark contrast to the other, the first ancestor that I was connecting with. Hmm. Mm. This person is like, da, 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 da. like, I don't like the way that they're coming through. They're like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, they want to ask a lot of questions. They're all like one minute over here, one minute over here. They're like bouncing around um, like a ball, like a ping pong ball is how their energy is coming across. Um, this is giving like a young boy who's like hyperactive, but I don't want to assign gender because it, it could be, it just is just how their energy is coming across. Just like, fa, 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 fa. um, I don't know why though. Let me, let me ask who this is. It really is. They're, they're really presenting as a young, a young adolescent. Hmm. This person wants to talk about the approach to life, like your approach to life. And um, like life being short. So I don't know if that is meaningful. If you don't know this person, I, I'm going to say this pretty boldly. If you don't know this person, it's giving someone who, even if you don't know them, they're still an ancestor, even if they're younger than you. Or they might, someone who might have passed at a young age. They want to talk to you about taking it all in <laughs> like <clears throat> like they they want you to they want you to take every they want you to take life in they want you they didn't have the opportunity to do this for themselves they want to take all of life in they want you to take every upper like every every moment like you wake up and you inhale the air and you're just like ah, like another day they're very excited they always have something planned if not planned and they've got something spontaneously on the books that's going to happen and then they just kind of skid into their bed at the end of the night at the end of the day um they really want you to like loosen up that's really what it is they want you to loosen up this is such a huge difference from the first pile from the first ancestor who was way more grounded and stable and common sense this person here is a young adolescent. It's giving a boy who wants to jump on his bike and pedal fast. I also see them like, they're saying like ripping, but it's giving like uh, surfing or doing something fast, like coasting. I don't know if this is a serious thing, like an activity that they got into coast like uh like um 
surfing or skateboarding, but it could be a representation of who they are to their core of this like go with the flow of life, have ease with life, don't take life so seriously. We're not going to make it out in the end. Like they're very much like life is short. Come on, let's go. Like, let's try to catch more opportunity. They're not saying that you try to squeeze into your life. Work. They want you to, to move into your life fun and joy and lax, like relax a little bit or a lot of bit and laugh. They're like, not everything needs to be so serious they, they're not someone who would ever sit down and listen to the news or fear monger or gossip. They're, they're too active for that. When it comes, to, they want to talk to you about relationships. Someone here takes relationships very seriously. Whether you're looking for a relationship or you want your relationship to evolve, they want to teach you how to have fun and how to let your hair down. That doesn't mean that you loosen up on your, I don't say expectations, but um, what you what you need in a relationship. Like you shouldn't be tolerating anything toxic. Um, that goes without saying, but they, they want you to like, loosen up so that you can enjoy love and relationships as a whole not just intimate romantic relationships but relationships as, as a whole and the partnership the union uh they they're saying like you're grasping like someone here might be grasping and trying to force things together not just in relationships but just in life there's a, a tendency to try to force things together and make them work and they they don't there's no benefit in that because anything that you try to force, you lose. This person is not afraid of, a, like, this person's not, this, this little person has as, as small and as tiny as they are, they are a big ball of light. So they're giving, like, fire sign a, a bit. That's how their energy presents as, like, very, like, fiery and passionate. They are not concerned, or air, they're not concerned with attachment to things because nothing, as, as young as they are, they still have a wise enough soul where they feel like you don't need to have attachment to anything. If you are attached, it doesn't want, it doesn't want you. It's not choosing you. So, but they want you to be with something and someone and energies that are coasting that not that they're casual with you, but that you can count on them, but enjoy them. They, they don't bring you down. They don't sink you. They don't sink your energy. They don't, they make, they, this person, this ancestor really wants you to like have fun. And that's probably the opposite of what you may want. Cause you might be very serious. You might be, um, be this person might, is encouraging you, to, encouraging you to travel and to get out and explore and to not have ex expectations for your trip. If you are someone who is expecting with your spiritual journey for like, or traveling and you're just like, okay, this is, I'm going to India because I need to have like an emotional awakening. You or an, a healing, a healing journey, you are not, that's not going to be your experience. You, you need to be open to how healing for you looks like, will look like laughter and joy and fulfillment in different ways outside of like the heaviness of things, you may have already encountered and experienced heaviness in life. This ancestor is making sure that that's not going to be your reality forever. They want you to have fun and let your hair down and relax a lot. If this is very specific, but if you have kinky, like curly hair, like me, um, you're going to stop. Like you might have been straightening it or pulling it back tight Specifically, it's like letting your curls fall. It doesn't maybe maybe it's not necessarily kinky curly, but I see, I see thick curls or like a tightening of the curl. And you this this ancestor is talking to you about letting your curl like stop trying to loosen the curl and allow it to to be what it is. This curl is not only on the top of your head, but it's a symbol for for how you present, how your energy is, where. 
you don't really allow yourself to be like, do you know that about yourself? Like you may not necessarily be allowing yourself to be, you may be following the rules of society and like what people are saying and social media of like how to relax and how to have fun and what you should be doing. And this person wants to take it and rip it all up and say, who made those rules? Like they don't even want to talk about it. They just want to yank you up off of whatever it is that you're stuck in and shift your perspective and shift your thinking so that you can get up and get out and, and call the shots for yourself. When it comes to business, this person is ideas, lots and lots of lots of ideas. They want, they're going to pour into you or inspire the part of you that is strictly the person who comes up with ideas and doesn't necessarily follow through on finishing up those ideas. You need to ask for a team or support to help you follow through in these great ideas that is that you have and don't expect yourself to be the person to finish, to drag everything to the finish line. You're an ideas person. So is this ancestor. It's like your ideas are profitable, but what slows you down is the expectation that you have to carry out the idea. Um, there's a, a need here to delegate. This person is comes across as non, it's not that they're non-committal. They just know that, they say a rolling stone get, gets no moss, <laughs> gathers no moss. Um, they just know that they need to stay light. They need to stay moving. And so do you. They're going to show you how to do that. What's the message here? The message is they're getting impatient with me right now, even me asking that. The message is for you to have fun, to let your hair down. They're very like, I already said what I said. Like I said what the message was. <laughs> like, I can't keep up with this person, but I really, really love the shot of energy that they're bringing. Um, this person is a good, a good, a good time. They're fun. Very, very fun. This is a storyteller. This is an exaggerator a little bit, but it's entertaining. It's, it's harmless. They make people laugh. They make themselves laugh. And <laughs> by the, t you're not even done laughing and they've already moved on to the next thing. They went to the next table. They've like zipped off on their electric scooter, <laughs> which is actually really funny because this ancestor is really intrigued by technology. Interesting. They're intrigued and interested by technology, like especially like automobiles, like things like things that move, things that go fast. Red, the color red and black, orange. I'm not surprised because their energy is coming across as like a fire sign and even air. Um, they're not, this person is not concerned with investing money. They are blowing money. They feel like this is not, like you're not so, supposed to be hoarding resources. They feel like it's time for you to learn how, some of this, is, some of you guys are going to hear this and you're going to be completely threatened by this person. Because you are working, you're in survival mode. But this person, this ancestor is trying to teach you how to have fun and how to let it go. Even with the devil card here and the moon card here, it's like you're, what are you holding on? This ancestor is really asking you, what are you holding on to and why? Like, why? And I get like right now the economy, the world, everything like this person, this ancestor, I keep wanting to say person because they feel so present right now. Like they feel really like young, um, but they're like, do you remember how I said in the very beginning that it doesn't seem like they're very concerned with the news or what social media is saying? They, they're like, don't let that stop you from living your life. Let's go. It, honestly, it makes me a little nervous. This person's um, presence in the sense that I don't want to say that they're reckless, but this is definitely a different approach that I would take. But this is why you consult your ancestors. You talk to them, you ask them for their guidance and their advice, because they'll bring different perspective that teaches you, that will teach you, period. And this is what they're trying to do. Moral of the story is they want you to let go. Also, if there is anybody or anything that's in your life that is really trying to bog you down, stress you out, can't laugh, doesn't bring joy and ease into your life. 
they they don't be afraid to lose to cut that attachment loose and move forward some of you guys look at structure and the foundation of your life and safety as predictability and that's the opposite and this ancestor is going to teach you that it's this predictable approach to life that is actually a threat to you and it's time for you to let your hair down and let your curls loosen like let them fall or stick straight up like just be you be you let me see if there's any additional messages here this one yep queen of wands reverse though you're too tight they want you to live yep six of wands <laughs> look at these cards this per this literally speaks for itself it's just like come on let's go let's party come on put yourself on top like you deserve to be recognized look at this two of cups let's cart let's party let's get together let's celebrate let's reciprocate like we can get out we can move we don't have to be so tight all the time or forlorn forlorn like being down and out with john scared of the world afraid to go out afraid to venture out there's so many things that could go wrong yes but there's so many things that could go right this is what this person is saying let's look at your cards shall we mm, how do i do this actually let's do bones first this person is very young they're very forward moving. They want to focus on the, the, the future. Future, future, future. Um, when it comes to your ventures in the future, they're gonna work to protect you. As reckless as they may seem, they're highly protective and they can see things from a, from a distance. They have like a good sense of, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, divination. Like they're very good at divining. They may have a pendulum. They're going to be protecting you from the, like, as you move forward in the future. So if you're starting a, a venture, traveling, getting out, marketing, so I heard marketing yourself, they're going to start cutting away any of stress or blockages and also bring in opportunity. So they want you to say yes. They want you to say yes. Okay. You know the symbol, the 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 message, the movie that they just showed me. So interesting, but it's along came Polly. Wow, guys, you need to watch that actually. Now I think about it, I understand the symbolism. I haven't seen that movie in a minute. But basically, it's this guy. I forget his name, but it's played by he's played by Ben Stiller. And he's this guy who lives his life safe, safe, safe. On his honeymoon, he chooses, he has this wife that he marries or this woman that he marries. And he decides, like, I'm not getting on this boat to go scuba diving because it's a risk. I don't want to tell you the whole story, but, or the whole movie, but he, his decision to not get on this boat to go scuba diving kind of reveals to him the truth of, the, the type of woman that he thought was the best match for him and what actually was a good match. And this is how this ancestor is coming forward. It's not, oftentimes it's like safety and what is the right thing for you. Like right, I say that in air quotes, is not always necessarily what we expect it to be and not this sense of predictability that we're looking for. That can really be a bigger threat to our happiness and our joy and the entirety of our lives versus us letting our hair down and just taking a few risks. Um, so definitely watch watch that movie. I, as superficial and shallow as that message seems kind of, like I th really think you guys should watch it. If you pull this, that's you'll understand and let me know in the comments. All right, let's look at your Oracle cards. Yep, ooh, we have Swan Spirit, time for a deep dive. Yep. This is about literally embracing all the aspects of life and the journey and why we do what we do and why we don't allow ourselves to go deep in life. Like, are you someone who is staying in the shallow end thinking that this is the safe way when this ancestor is asking you to go go further wow snake spirit time to heal which is so interesting you guys this this showed up for you it's not like healing 
it's not like you haven't healed or that there isn't further healing that needs to happen. It's just that healing doesn't need to look so heavy and intense and poisonous all the time. Like you don't need to sit there and constantly suck out the poison of past wounds and bites. This person wants you to uh, maybe like, like lighten up. Even though you can't really see it in these cards, I just, I do get a sense of lightening up. Let's look at your next Oracle card. Birds of a feather. Mm hmm. I do see a new chapter, a new venture in your life, especially with this door being open here and protection coming from this ancestor where you switching up your energy is going to attract like minded people. And don't be afraid again, like they, they keep wanting to talk to you about letting go of attachment to people and things that are not like they're not equally yoked. Oops, I don't know what that was. They're not equally yoked. They're not a match for you anymore. It's time for you to let that go. The next card we have here is doubt. This is so wild to me, the, the, the fact that this card is coming out, doubt, because I feel like it's like our fears that stop us from living our lives. And the fear of getting hurt, the fear of getting stranded, the fear of being abandoned, the fear of being alone, the fear of fill in the blank, of going broke. It's like trying to do the right thing and trying to be tight and buttoned up. And it makes it makes that fear become a reality because we don't allow ourselves to trust the journey and we just move through life, clutching our purses, running from our front door to our cars. And what is the point in that versus when you just let go, you end up finding people that gravitate towards you and flow towards you that aren't a threat to you. And there's more good in this world than evil. There's more abundance in this world than scarcity and lack. We just need to be open to it. Self-sufficiency. Interesting. Interesting. I think this has a lot to do with that nod of letting go of um, also going for a deep dive on why you have certain people and energies around you that do not serve you. The last card we have is this card. I'm not going to read it entirely to you. This actually reminds me of someone that I'm following on Instagram. She's following me, but I'm not going to mention names. I'm not going to read to you the whole meeting. I'm going to read to you the general meeting. And the number on the top of the card is number seven. And then we're going to move on to the final, the final message. The invitation here is the wisdom in your ancestral lineages is, is your birthright. Activate it. Hmm. Look at this. As the rainbow serpent, maybe I will. Oh, look, there's a snake at our feet. Holy. And we just had the snake here too. As the rainbow serpent, Bunzi also lives in the rainbows reflected off any water surface. She reminds us that a rainbow is an ancestral reflection full of ancient wisdom. Like rainbows, the ancestral wisdom is often found in unexpected places. Wow. Usually after uncomfortable circumstances. That right there. The beauty of the rainbow can also be considered an ancestral tether. You are on one side and the ancestors are on the other. There is infinite wisdom to you to be harvested from your ancestral lineages. I'm going to read this to you actually in full. She said, the great mother was a rainmaker who created, nurtured, and protected human life. She also gave birth to the divine Bunzi, the rainbow serp serpent. Bunzi came into the world under violent circumstances when her mother's husband realized that he couldn't be um, Bunzi's father. He beat Bunzi's mother to death for her infidelity. Despite her violent and inaus inauspicious beginnings, Bunzi, who this is, is able to step into her mother's rainmaking shoes. She is in connection with her ancestral lineage. She uses her powers to mystically irrigate nourishing waters to lands where seeds wait underground ready to burst forth with life. Those devoted to Bunzi are rewarded with abundant harvests. She is able to ignite ancient wisdom. Emphasis on the word ignite. Connected to that fire energy that I've been seeing. In service of her people who look to her in the sky for her blessing. Wow. She also lives in the, and the rainbow is reflected off of any water surface. She reminds us that a rainbow is an ancestral reflection full of ancient wisdom. Like rainbows, the ancestral wisdom is often, often found in unexpected places, unexpected places, unexpected places, usually after uncomfortable circumstances. Okay. So that right there pretty much sums up what I'm trying to tell you. 
or what your ancestors are trying to tell you. So thank them. Okay. All right, my love. So that is your message. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the third message. If you would like to go deeper with intuitive messages throughout the week, throughout the month, Bahati Love Notes is my Patreon similar. <laughs> um that is providing those readings for you consistently it will be linked down below as well as a subscription uh, no as well as a coupon code and the cards that i've been using and shuffling will also be linked down below as well until then please guys give this video a thumbs up if it helped you if it resonated with you or just say thank you that's a big way of um, contributing to the energy it's free to do that and it does speak to the youtube algorithm which is going through it right now <laughs> until then i'm sending you guys all of my love and i'll see you in the next one bye all right my loves if you chose this the third message the third pile this is your reading please ignore my dragon's blood smoke zation going on right now um this dragon's blood is from the apothecary the shop which is currently closed right now i'm on maternity leave okay let's go ahead and dive right in this is um message for your ancestor but we're also look how much smoke is coming off of this right now wow uh, message from your ancestor but also who are they what are they trying to say what do they need what do they what, what do they need to say? I can't believe how much smoke is coming off of this. Incredible. It's pretty telling. Don't mind me as I live shuffle for you. his ancestor hmm okay well that makes sense why <sighs> this isn't this is the first time we're getting a full 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 femme like feminine energy they're, this person is very, if they're coming across very feminine, like soft-spoken. In their life, they've, they've, they've experienced a lot of like self-doubt. Or they're identifying to the part within you that questions not your power, but like yourself. This is, you may question, you may find yourself in situations where you, like you may overgive, overextend. Even if you're in a healthy, even if you have a healthy relationships around you or a healthy work life, you have a tendency to overextend yourself and overgive. This ancestor has had that same problem. That was a part of their karma while they were here. This is a uh, giving wife. This is an energy of a wife, but very traditional. This is a, a person who um, is like cooks, cleans, raises, raises the children. They also would have, it's interesting because they would have had sons so if this is like a grandmother figure or an aunt figure or someone, they would have had sons. Like they would have had a lot of sons. By a lot, I mean like two or three, four, five. Like they, they would have had like a lot. Um, this person also doesn't, they if they've experienced loss, which they have, they would never talk about it. They, they keep it... It's, um, they kind of put a smile on their face 
and are more focused on nurturing and being um, like a supporter, a nurturer, a mother versus talking about the pain, the suffering of a loss. Um, but it, it, it doesn't stop them from feeling. They actually connect really deeply with water. So this per this ancestor may be someone who's water, water, like a water sign or influenced by the energy of water, worships water, and like lets bathes, like takes baths, goes to the river, goes to the ocean, blesses themselves. If they go, if they're they're bringing up their spirituality, if they bring up, if they're going to church or if they're going into ritual it's not if it's the traditional sense they're not always there they're the type that goes like during christmas or during like major spiritual holidays if they are someone who practice root work hoodoo um witchcraft they have their practices um more often they would have connected more to the ocean, water, the moon. It's giving cancer, like cancer, the, the zodiac sign cancer, cancer, sun, moon, rising. If that's not their zodiac sign, that's how they present. Like that's how their energy presents. At the same time, I'm seeing the stoicness of keeping their emotions away from the children or away from innocent, like innocent things. This person is really wonderful with animals, has a soft spot for animals. Also, they're referencing their boys, like how boys, like having like, ch like children as boys, how it really taught them. It's like God, this is how this person I, is saying it. Like God spoke or the, like this higher power, but this person is saying, I'm going to say she, she's speaking it like God. So it's almost giving like Christianity or, but, um, or goddess. She, there's, there's a, a, a reason why she had boys because the boys are so, if she would have girls, she would have been swallowed up in the emotion, um, of raising of all the hormones of it all, you know, like of all the emotion of it all. So it's like she sees like the div the, the divinity in having sons, like having boys or having if if there's if this if this ancestor had daughters, they're very um it would have been one daughter and more boys. I'm almost seeing like three children or four children. If it's three, there might have been a loss. whether you know about that loss or not also keep in mind that sometimes these ancestors kind of like pile number two they had a very young spirit come through and even though even though this child this energy wouldn't have been a like a parent so to speak it's still a part of your blood your lineage and they're coming through to help you like sometimes when we think about ancestry we think only of like elders who have parented. Um, also, sometimes when we think about ancestors, we don't always, we think that we know them, we think that we know their stories and we don't. We don't always know their names. But they come through and they're very close to us especially if we're open. So this person, 100%, she's talking about the, the sons, like having three sons, and like if there's a daughter, it's a very tomboyish daughter and a loss. There's something about the loss of, like loss in life, but not allowing that to define you. Or not define you, but you have your moments of release, you have your moments of mourning, I do see you creating more space for you to let your emotions leak out. That's how she's saying it, like leaking out. You may not necessarily identify with the spirit of loss right now, but how she's showing up is you're you're supposed to be transitioning. Like you're entering 
sometimes loss is not a person or a relationship. Sometimes it's the loss of who you were and who you are now and the the questioning of it all, like the uncertainty of who you are and what's to come and like the unknowing, like the unknown of it all. It could be someone transitioning from high school to college, from college to career, from married to divorced, from not being, from singlehood to being married, to not being a parent to being a parent. Like it's, and even if it brings joy or even if it brings fear, it's still a transition nonetheless. And there's a need to kind of honor your feelings. And not allow them to take up the entirety of the room. Because this ancestor, she, as much as she feels, like she feels a swelling of like emotion, like human emotion. As much as she feels, it doesn't stop her from being productive. It doesn't stop her. Even though she has in her life, she had to battle through doubt, self-doubt, or reliance. Like needing, like living through a time where... You had to rely on your husband. You had to rely on some, something else was in control of, of, of your security. So it's like having to grin and bear it. That was a part of her karma. And there's something to be said for a similarity that you may be experiencing in your life with independence and emotion, like feeling your emotion, authentically feeling your emotion. Also, she's talking about like quiet time, um, getting dolled up, but like doing things for you, not doing things for, um, I'm seeing her like pinning her hair or lipstick in a gold, I'm seeing like red lipstick in a gold container. Very specific. Doing more of that, not waiting for a special occasion. This ancestor is talking about fulfillment, like life fulfillment, and also, why are you talking, like, I need to ask, if I get quiet, it's because I'm having a conversation with this, with this ancestor. Um, if it's not red lipstick, it's like red nail polish, and like in a gold, like the, the top of the, it, it, this is giving like something that this person like, they only have like one, and they wear it on a special occasion. It's like making do, like making, not having everything, but like making do with what you have. But why is that important? Like, talk to me. Okay, she was like, shuffle. Okay. It's kind of making me feel emotional. There's a need to, um, like, not wait, not be complacent. I'm seeing, like, someone in, like, a bucket, like, bathing, like, bathing. It could be bathing a child, like, bathing a child or ba ba uh, bambino, bambina. It's very, so it's Spanish. I don't say ritual, but, like. Actually, yeah. It is. Oh my God, it's making me like feel weird. Not weird, but like I'm, I don't know what this feeling is that I'm feeling. <sighs> like, um, it's like bringing ritual in and blessing in. Oh. Wow. You know what this ancestor, wow, man, this makes me emotional. I don't know why. Um, this is about th what this ancestor is trying to reveal to you is bringing like ritual into the routine of your everyday life and the magic that that is like someone here may feel like they need to take on the whole world, but really what this ancestor is going to teach you is like how you are your whole world. 
and honoring yourself. I'm also hearing the word glamour, like beauty and feeling attractive. Someone is like, they're trying to show you, like, like if if we this this okay, this ancestor has like showing like magazines, right? If we're looking flipping through magazines and there's all these things that you could buy and all these things to self improve, you don't need to do all that. You know, it's like you have what you need right now and to make do with what you have and turn it into a ritual. If you're inviting, if so, if something is transitioning into your life, right? If you're in a period of transition in your life, you are going to be known whether publicly or whether intimately, like people who know you, people who love you, or whether you know yourself as this, you need to bless this transition. I'm seeing like a baby in a bathtub and like a, a spiritual soak over the child. And the baby, which is interesting because we do have the Four of Cups here, it represents newness. It represents innocence. It represents another thing to love and to invest in and to pour yourself into. And that's how, not how you heal, but that's a big part of your journey here. My um, sage is crackling. It's a big part of um, purpose and identity and, and joy. Also forgiveness. There's this message about forgiveness of, um, it's bringing up like child children. So there's, oh man, like every child has their path. And this is so specific. Every child has their path, right? This is how this ancestor is coming through. She's a mother. So every child has their path and you can teach them, teach them, teach them, but they're going to choose what they choose. You have to love them regardless. You have to give grace. You have to forgive. Whatever they choose, wherever they go, whoever they are, and you learn to like and love unconditionally, you also give that strength of love, unconditional love to yourself. I'm also hearing pampering, like tending to yourself, gentle, 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 and not needing external things to give to you a mat like magic. There's this, there's this, this person is not known necessarily for magic and ritual, but there's ritual and magic in everything that they do from the cooking to the cleaning, to the nurturing, to what they say, how they pray, the quiet time over water, in water. This ancestor is going to teach you how to bless yourself, your circumstances, using water and using what you have, whether it be your voice, whether it be perfume. I'm also seeing sisterhood and friendship, not necessarily always being in our face. I'm seeing coffee too and tea. It's close by. It's not far away. These friendships are close or there's one friend or one person that if you don't have this, this ancestor is meant to help guide you to that friendship, especially when it comes to this transition in your life. Ask them for the friendship, especially womanhood. If you're a man or if you identify as a male or it doesn't matter but and you don't have female friendships you can still have a good a good woman this is like the person <laughs> this is like someone who works at a bank it's so specific oops someone who works at a bank and um, they end up making friends with like Debbie or Gloria and she's 56 and you're 23 and they're just you just even though there's this huge age gap you just that's your best that's your bestie you guys have lunch together you learn from each other it's like that it's like work brought you guys together it's so specific this makes me emotional because um of the way that this person this ancestor's life was lived they didn't ask for a whole lot, but they they feel like they've received a lot in this life because they loved 
their family and their what they were taking care of like animals and food and everything they loved them so much and that level of like heartfulness really speaks to me and i i believe that's why this ancestor is showing up because they they are bringing you to that place where you too are going to feel that embrace that or experience more of it if if some of you guys for the first time so it does make me emotional wow also blessing like blessing the newness in your life i've got the bones here so we're gonna bringing ritual it doesn't have to be something elaborate you don't have to pay someone to do it you can do it at home do your research listen to your ancestor she'll speak to you too because where do you think i get more than half of my recipes for my candles and my oils not from research but through communication you know what i mean okay let's see what she's got to say how do we want to do this yeah I can't believe the sage is still burning like wow hmm yeah this this um what's coming through is um an honoring like honoring loss Um, and how that's a part, this ancestor wants to speak to you about, she's almost giving grandma, um, but she wants to speak to you about like loss is a part of, this is her words, loss is a part of life and we don't want to avoid loss because it means that we loved great. And um, she wants you to experience that and to not be afraid of that. And the more, this is so specific, but she's talking because she's experienced a lot of loss in her life things that you don't know about things that a lot of people don't know about but she holds on to them and she honors them like a birthday or a specific day that she honors something that didn't come to fruition or something that passed something that she buried something that she said goodbye to and she's going to teach you how to do that and to not stay stuck in the loss but to honor it and to move forward and to honor it again every it's like her heart is loyal and she honors she honors the life and doesn't stay stuck on what was taken away because it wasn't taken away it was transition and she believes that everything comes together in the end at the end anyway she also is needing to talk about expressing feeling like making sure that emotion and feeling isn't stuck inside of you because that too needs to be dealt with that too needs to be mourned that too needs to be honored and like buried and move forward and mourned and like you cannot stay in that space because it's blocking your heart you have to remember this ancestor believes that the greatest treasure in life is to love like just the ability to love is the greatest thing so you don't stay stuck when what you love is lost because the love doesn't go away that's really wow that's why i feel so much with this ancestor because i'm just like and there's more there's not to replace but there's more love to be experienced in the future I, I'm hearing like it's not fraught or like it's not like like fraught with grief like you won't be fraught with grief or you won't be stuck you also have so many blessings coming forward so she's asking you to like bless the blessing <laughs> like really nurture bless and tend to it's like bathing it like really bathing bathing the blessing with water with I'm also seeing like Florida water put speaking a blessing over water Psalms it's like an influence of Christianity or the Bible there's a huge emphasis on the blessings to come huge huge also for your health for fertility for expansion for 
wealth, for happiness, for love, for marriage. This also, this ancestor will not allow um, who they are guardian over, like, to go without marriage. They really believe in union. But not union for no for no reason like not you can't just have because you have to understand this this person has lived through a time where a, a, a troublesome husband or wife would be bad very very bad and divorce was not something that was prevalent like it wasn't common so wherever you settled you had to stay you had to make do so this person is going to make sure that and and also they prioritize marriage and union both whether they are masculine presenting or a feet like feminine presenting they they need to remarry if there's a loss they remarry or they marry the first time they there's going to be a partnership so you can easily talk to this person this ancestor about marriage and be serious about it because they're very serious about it if you ask for a husband or a wife you are going to get what this ancestor is believes is in your bed and i would trust this ancestor 100 percent. but it may not necessarily be like this person has like six pack abs and like hair that blows in the wind and like this person smells like spice <laughs> you know like it, it's a person who to their soul this is a good person to marry this is the right person to marry because this your ancestor knows and you will love this you're not going to have to compromise on attraction but you'll have to you'll have to bless and understand what a healthy marriage looks like and to be able to take care of it and what that what that looks like cuz that's unique okay let's um but i just want to say like I just see like a bucket, like a clean bucket. It's some of you guys are like, that's not spiritual and that's not high vibration. Talk to your ancestor about it because she said, and I trust her. She's using a bucket, and if that's what she used, I'm gonna use it too because I I trust her magic and I really really love this person. Like I genuinely connect deeply, and I'm so grateful that I I mean even in the presence of this type of person, um, because it's so inspiring, the heart that they have. So if she's using a bucket to bless the house to it's giving floor wash it's giving florida water it's giving perfumes it's giving floral it's giving lavender bundles like things that you can get at the grocery store like it's giving home home witchcraft you know it's giving garden witchcraft if you can if she's doing that and blessing the, the blessing to come all of them you can and you should and that's why she's here. She's going to teach you. Let's look at your oracle cards because if I stay with this reading for too long, it'll be unfair to the others. Unconditional love. Unconditional love. Unconditional love. love. Okay. Um, the cards that I'm shuffling from will be linked uh, down below. For real. For real. For real. Okay. The cards that we have here. Be fearless and bold. Which is so beautiful because I see this in the pursuit of your heart and the pursuit of love. Um, for her, it's worth it. Ooh, dragonfly spirit. Truth transcends illusion. I wonder what that means for some of you guys. But do you also see we have 22, 2 plus 2 is 4, and then we have 4 here, and then we have security and making do with what you have. Interesting that she... I just feel like the a heart that loves, a heart that... It's, maybe that's what it is about life. Like, that's the truth about life is, like, love to love and be loved in return is the greatest gift. Next card we have is, ooh, in perfect harmony. Beautiful. It's funny that this is coming up because I did hear her singing, like, when she's cooking, just, like, in the kitchen. Oh, you have 11 here, too. Look at the comparison. We have 4, 22, 11. 11, 22, 4. I've also got a tattoo on me. <laughs> Um, I actually heard her singing in the kitchen, cooking, cleaning, and singing. But also how all things align. Also, like, the the power of song and what you're singing, that in itself is magic. That in itself will bless a home. This person is so overlooked. Like, you don't even understand. Like, I just honor her. I honor her. I honor her. 
I want to like put all these flowers. If you want to build an altar for her, give her flowers, lavender. They don't even have to be expensive. Like some, she's not someone who is like, oh, that's basic or oh, that's beneath me. You can make her a noodle necklace and she'll be like, thank you. This is beautiful. And she will wear it proudly and show her friends. This is a beautiful spirit. This is a beautiful spirit. I strive. Okay. Challenges. Mm-hmm. Which is funny because this she's not known for her challenges, but how she handles them. Which she's going to teach you how to handle your own challenges with grace and compassion and just feminine energy. It says unbearable situations throw you directly into God's arms if you're open. That's the other thing too. She gives everything that she's carrying her burdens. She brings them to God. Please take over divine and guide the right actions. Please take this burden and show me your will. Yep, look, look at this. Make it God's right there. Didn't I not say that? She gives she gives her, her issues, her problems to God. Release the idea of my. As soon as you start to say the money, the relationship, the job, freedom arrives. Freedom. When there is no grasping, the right actions get shown. Free me from my prison of my dear Lord. Now, this is the last card that we have here. Oh, my God. Alignment. Ah, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Let's look. Number 30. I'm not going to read the whole card to you. Ooh, ancestral wisdom. Look at that. Can't make that up. Ancestral wisdom. Hmm. Mm. The ancestral paintings. Let me show you. Okay. In this image depict women in a wide variety of actions and roles. Leadership, head of community activities, leader of ritual ceremonies, and healer. Besides the usual maternal and domestic roles, what? I have never pulled this card before in my life. And the fact that they're talking about maternal and domestic roles speaks for itself because that's exactly who she is. Okay. Besides the usual maternal and domestic roles, they tended animals and gathered roots, herbs, vegetables, and fruits. The cave paintings also show craft women making pottery and playing drums, as well as warrior women with weapons. All these roles are performed in society. This card is asking you to consider the role you're playing in your community. You're not expected to be all things to all people all the time, but you are expected to stand in integrity and fulfill your divine mandate, which is what? Which is what? Ask yourself, what is that? Consider what you already know in your bones. Is your action aligned with the greater soul's purpose? The invitation is to recognize your community roles, communicate with integrity, and take aligned action. She's also going to help you with alignment and becoming more aligned not only with life and the path but within yourself and how much you guys have in common thank you to her for showing up because that was beautiful sitting with her energy thank you for showing up and clicking on this video and listening to me channel messages for you guys if you want to be wrapped up and embraced in more readings like this Bahati love notes is my service i need to find a different way to describe it for those of you guys that are subscribed to Bahati love notes like how would you describe it anyway um it's my way of con not constantly but consistently channeling messages intuitive messages and guidance for you guys in a platform that is protected and guided always you guys know i'm always guarding my my groups my tribes my community I'll leave the links down below for you for that, as well as a coupon code to make it accessible for everyone. Until then, you guys, thank you so much for being here. And thank you so much to your ancestor for gracing me with her energy because literally I'm like on a cloud floating. It's not just the smoke <laughs> of this dragon's blood bundle that's burning. It is the presence that she brings that's really inspired me and just secondhand secondhand like getting this reading right now has made me a better person honestly and really like inspired my own steps my own action and i just i'm so grateful so 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 grateful for her for you and for this community that it is that we have here together so if this video spoke to you if you enjoyed your time here please give it a, a thumbs up go ahead and like this video make sure that you are subscribed there's plenty more videos where this came from i am on maternity leave for now but i'll be returning shortly um, especially through tarot and through astrology. You guys know I'm always channeling and pulling cards and the charts. And of course, I'll see you. <laughs> I'll see you in that. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.